In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use three pocket wizards to take a self-portrait. I'll use them to remotely trigger a camera and synchronized flash while sitting on a kayak in the middle of a lake. This is Lake Milton in the Sierra Nevada Mountains in Northern California. My wife Laura and I spent a week camping in this area. We have a tradition of taking one special photograph on our vacations, an image that captures a unique memory about that particular trip. Since we spent quite a bit of time kayaking on the lakes in the area, we decided that our vacation photo should include both of us in our kayaks and on the water. This idea posed a bit of a challenge, since we were alone on this lake and there was no one around to take the photo for us. I knew I could use my pocket wizards to remotely trigger the camera and flash from a great distance. And in addition to the peace and solitude, another advantage of being alone is the sense of safety we felt at this location. After scouting out our location, I noticed an island and a tree stump that can be used to locate the equipment. We'll be positioned near the stump. So here's the plan. We'll be located in the kayaks. The remote camera will be on the island I'll call Goose Poop Island, and the flash will be attached to the tree stump called Strobust Stump. I'll have one pocket wizard with me in the kayak to use as a trigger. When I press the test button on this pocket wizard, it will activate the one on the camera, and through the camera connector cable, it will fire the camera. Both the pocket wizard in my hand and the one on the camera are set to channel 1. The pocket wizard on the camera will then relay the signal to the flash pocket wizard, which is set one channel higher, channel 2. All of this will allow me to trigger the camera and a synchronized flash from the kayak out on the water. I'm using a Canon Digital Rebel XT with a Sigma 18-200 zoom lens, a Vivitar 285 flash, my three pocket wizards, a homemade camera connection cable, some hardware, and a tripod. Now here's a nifty way to attach a pocket wizard. Take a short length of threaded rod, add a wing nut, attach the rod to the back of the pocket wizard, and then clamp this entire assembly in the umbrella shaft area of a flash bracket. Plug in your cable and you're ready to go. I placed all of the equipment into a waterproof bag and we headed out to our first stop, Goose Poop Island. The camera is now positioned on the island and will be focused on our location out near the tree stump. Here is the flash attached to the tree stump. It is set to one half power and it has a one half CTO gel on it to add some warm light to our faces. Once Laura gets into position, I'll take a couple of test shots for focus and exposure then paddle out to join her and get ourselves into position. We quickly learned that staying in one place while fighting the wind and the current would be the biggest challenge of the day. Finally, we were able to hold our position long enough to take a few shots. As you can see in the final photo, the flash lights up just under our hats and provides a nice, soft, warm glow to our faces. Using pocket wizards to remotely trigger a camera and flash gave us a great new vacation photo to add to our collection. Mm -hmm. 